Hello again, everybody. Today, I need to explain two useful PHP functions. The first is the isSet function. The other is the empty function. These are two useful functions to determine if HTML elements are filled in or otherwise interacted with. The isSet function returns true if a variable is declared and not null. Empty returns true if a variable is not declared, false, null, or is an empty string. Here's an example. Let's create a username variable. Username equals make up some username. I am going to echo, then use the is set function, place some value or variable within the parentheses of this function. When I run this program, we output one. In PHP, one means true. If username was null, is set returns false. We don't display anything. Let's go over a few different values using an if statement. If is set at a set of parentheses. If the is set function returns true, let's echo this variable is set. Else, let's echo this variable is not set. Under which circumstances does the isSet function return true? That function returns true if a variable is declared and not null. What if we don't have a variable? The isSet function returns false. That means we execute this else statement. This variable is not set. What if we declare a variable and it's null? Well, the variable is not set either. What if this value was true? This variable is set. How about false? The variable is set. An empty string. The variable is set. Type in a username. The variable is also set. Those are the circumstances in which the isSet function will return either true or false. Now let's use the empty function. This function will return true if a variable is not declared, false, null, or an empty string. Let's change is set to the empty function. We will examine our username variable. If this variable is empty, let's echo this variable is empty. Else, this variable is not empty. If we don't have a variable, I'll get rid of our username. This variable is empty. If username is null, the variable is empty still. True, the variable is not empty. False, the variable is empty. An empty string, the variable is still empty. Type in a username, the variable is not empty. Now what we're going to do is create an HTML login form. We'll need a username, a password, and a login button. We can use a combination of the isSet and empty functions to determine if our login button is interacted with or our username and password fields are filled in. So let's create an HTML document. Within the body of my document, I will create a form, then close it right away. In the opening form tag, we will set the action attribute to equal our PHP document. The method, let's use post. We will need two labels, one for username, the other for password. Username. Let's copy this label, paste it, change username to password. I'll add a text box. The name attribute will be set to username. I'll add a break line, copy this text box, paste it underneath password, change text to password. Let's set the name attribute to be password. Then we need a submit button. Input type equals submit. 
let's set the name equal to be let's set the name attribute to be a login then i will set the value the text on the button to be log in here's our sample login form using the post super global variable is technically an associative array which we learned about in the last topic for demonstration purposes i'm going to use a for each loop and iterate over all of the elements within this array let's access our post super global variable iterate over post as key arrow value then during each iteration every key every value then add a break line i should probably add a break line after the submit button too you may need to reload your page then if i press login we will spit out the associative array that's contained within our post super global variable here are the keys and here are the values our username and password are both empty strings this thing our login key has this value whatever value we set within the html element if we hit the login button we can check to see if this key using the is set function we can determine if this value is set using the empty function we can determine if these values are empty which they currently are we can yell at the user like hey what the heck you didn't enter in your username or password i will reuse this for each loop later let me just turn this into one giant comment now that we know how that works let's check to see if our button is clicked let's write an if statement if is set function access the post super global variable we are looking for our login button whatever the name is set to for testing purposes let's echo you tried to log in so if I save, I need to reload the page. If I press the login button, this button is now set. You tried to log in. We no longer need this line for testing. Let's save. After pressing the login button, let's check if our username is filled in. Let's get the username. Username equals we are accessing the post super global variable. The key is our username whatever the name is then let's get our password too while we're at it variable password equals the key is password within our if statement we will write an inner if statement if empty function if our username is empty then let's echo username is missing else we will display a welcome message echo hello variable username okay let's reload i'm gonna press login without filling in a username username is missing but if i type in a username then log in we get our hello message hello bro code i'll add an else if statement then we'll check to see if our password is missing if empty function we are examining our password then we will echo password is missing let's save reload type in a username don't type in a password press login password is missing in order to output this hello message, we need both a username and a password. Type in a username, type in a password, pizza123, press login, and you get your welcome message. I'm going to enclose the section of code within a comment block. Let's go back to our for each loop. There's something I want to explain. So let's save, reload, make up a username type in a password when i press login you can see that our username and password fields are both filled in they're no longer empty 
This is our associative array contained within the post super global variable. Using these if statements, the first thing we were checking is if our login button is set, which it is, it contains a value. Then we were checking if our username and passwords were empty or not. This time they were not empty. That's what it looks like behind the scenes when you're accessing the post super global variable. It's made of key value pairs, and you can determine if a value is set or it's empty. All right, everybody, so that is the isSet and empty functions in PHP.